Hey there guys, it's CyberUltra here. In the recent Nintendo Direct, one of the most surprising reveals was the announcement of the Booster Course Pass DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which is bringing 48 remastered courses to the game over the course of the next two years up until the end of 2023. This came as a huge surprise to many, mainly because people assumed it was too late for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to get DLC. The game came out in 2017, and it took them nearly 5 years after the game's launch for them to announce this DLC, and it really got me thinking, what does this mean for the next Mario Kart game in the series? So in today's video, I wanted to talk about why this DLC got announced and what I think this means for Mario Kart 9. Let's get into it! First off, I wanted to point out that I'm not sure if we can even call the next game Mario Kart 9 anymore, since Nintendo seems to consider Mario Kart Tour a full-on game, which people have been saying for some time now. If they continue with the numeric naming scheme, then the next game in the series would actually be Mario Kart 10, but personally I hope they go with something a little more creative than that. But back to the main point. The first thing I want to address is, why would Nintendo go back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 5 years after the game's launch? The first point is its sales. It's the best selling Mario Kart game in the franchise and the best selling game on the Nintendo Switch as a whole. It continues to sell like a brand new game and it wouldn't make sense to release a new Mario Kart game when they already have something like this doing so well. I personally do think that a new Mario Kart game was in development for Switch originally, but right now, there just isn't a need to release a new game. I think doubling the game's course count and releasing DLC all the way until the end of 2023 is their way of first, making money off of the game's huge success, and second, holding fans over until the next game in the series releases. It's safe for us to assume that we won't be getting a new Mario Kart game until some time after the DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has ended. My personal belief is that the next Mario Kart game will launch alongside Nintendo's next console, which I think is quite a ways away. This is because I think Nintendo wants to keep the Switch around for a few more years, and because the global chip shortage would make it difficult for Nintendo to release a new console soon, even if they wanted to. Mario Kart is a system seller, and it would make sense to have a console launch with it. But here's the thing, if they're putting all these development resources into the DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, then how long after that will it take for the next Mario Kart to be developed? Well, here's the thing, I don't think they're actually putting too many resources into this DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The first thing I wanted to point out is the lack of any brand new courses or brand new characters. It seems like they're not putting any new ideas into the development of this DLC, or even adding characters from previous installments to it. Mario Kart 8 is almost 8 years old, and I'm sure they've come up with many new creative ideas to advance the series in that time. But the DLC we're getting doesn't do that at all, it simply remasters old courses we've already seen in the past. And second, I wanted to point out how the courses look. Okay, you can call me crazy, but I feel like graphically, these remastered courses don't look as good as courses in the original game, or ones that were DLC for the original Mario Kart 8 for Wii U. I honestly got the vibe that these were simply pulled from the Mario Kart Tour mobile game and simply remastered to work for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. In my eyes, the colors and lighting look a lot more flat than courses from the original Mario Kart 8. You could make the point that they're still in development, but the first wave of DLC is only a month away, and we usually don't see much change in the span of a month. The point I'm trying to make here is that regardless of how good the courses look, this booster course pass doesn't seem like something that's taking away too much development time, and it's not taking any brand new ideas either. This is why I believe that the point I've made in the past about the new Mario Kart being in development for a future system still stands. I think it was originally planned to come to Switch, but those plans have changed ever since Mario Kart 8 Deluxe became the huge blowout success that it is. And now, the newest development is that we're getting old, remastered courses added to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as a way for Nintendo to continue supporting the game and to hold fans over. By the time we do get a new Mario Kart game, it'll likely have been over 10 years since the launch of the original Mario Kart 8 for Wii U, and fans have been clamoring for one for a while, but I'm glad we'll have something until then to hold us over. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. 
I'm getting pretty close to 350 subscribers and I would really appreciate your support in reaching that goal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.